For a scientist, talking to the media may be a scary prospect, yet some researchers are calling on their peers to have their voices heard in the media and to cut through the noise coming from think tanks and lobbyists. Damien Contandriopoulos from the Public Health Research Institute at the University of Montreal argues that researchers have a responsibility to inform the public about their findings and their ideas. We have less and less people that have the right to free speech. Public servants are more and more forbidden to state their opinion. You have a fewer and fewer people in the society that are able to just have a free point of view. And research community really are an essential part, I think, of an open society that does value truth and ideas over interest and preferences. So the time now for researchers to get involved in public debate, I think, is absolutely central. Marc-André Gagnon, an assistant professor at the School of Public Policy and Administration at Carleton University, fears that the debate has become too skewed and that the scientific community has given up on trying to fight the public relations battle. For me, I'm just sick and tired to see that uh, sometimes it's think tanks in favor of specific commercial interests driving the political agenda, publishing reports, trying to frame the debate in a specific way. This relationship with journalists is important in the sense that having this capacity to, to bring in this public sphere expertise, more factual, more evidence-based, I think it is our role as researchers. Scientific studies and reports are rarely communicated to the general public, and most people don't read scientific journals, reminds Damien Contandriopoulos. If you want to have an idea that makes its way into society, you need to get that idea out. You need to get people aware of that idea. And mass media is probably the most effective way to reach out. He adds that too many policies and decisions are made without knowing what the evidence is. Researchers have the power to change that. The, the challenge is to get that idea to be turned into practice and policy. And politicians are very sensitive to what the press publishes. The scientific community has to work together to help journalists who might be pressed for time or who do not have a science background. Adds Marc-André Gagnon. Finding the right person to discuss uh, in terms of researcher or just referring the right person, I think, is the best way to go. And it's just making sure that not only one narrative that is maybe, well, one discourse that sometimes is completely biased, at least you need to say, well, I think it is biased for this or that reason. And researchers should not get discouraged if they need to repeat their message over and over again in order to counter biased or erroneous information. It's David against Goya. I really love the notion of zombie ideas. Notion that ideas, no matter how, lo how many times they have been proved false, still come back to life again and again. Because behind that, that idea, there is that zombie master that has an interest in pushing the idea forward. And here again, there's a role for academics to try, even though it's a long-term battle and even though it's an unequal battle, as a researcher, a publicly funded researcher, it's your responsibility to try to get the truth out there. And this is where whatever evidence you can get out there is better than none. For Evidence Network, I'm Melanie Holoboski.